Our children are our greatest treasure and leaving them with someone else to take care of while at work isn't always easy. The NFL Zone continues to dive deep into the child care challenges here in Michigan. She joins us live with more on what's being done to change it. Good morning. Good morning to the both of you. Sometimes the hardest thing for a working parent is running into child care challenges. In fact, that's why I'm home today. And it's a reality a lot of families have had to face, especially over this past year. Recent studies show that 44% of Michigan families are living in what's called a child care desert. So we dug into the numbers and talked with those in the trenches to find out what's happening and what really needs to be done to fix this. It's such a hard thing being like a working mom because there's that mom guilt that we carry of being away from our babies for so long. It's a feeling so many working parents can relate to. You constantly have like that conversation with yourself. Do I just stay home and bite that bullet and like tighten down our budget a little bit more so that I can stay home? Where is that balance at? Like, am I making enough to cover our daycare expenses? It's just one of the many questions families are left weighing when it comes to child care. It's difficult because you want the best for your kid. You want them at a place that they're going to thrive and they're going to be pushed to be better and be ready for school. There's so much to look at when you're looking at what kind of center or daycare provider situation you want for your kids. When I first opened as a licensed daycare, I had the intention of just watching six kids at first. Melissa runs Ryber Family Daycare, where Courtney Bainbridge actually sends her kids. She says she feels lucky she found a place she loves so much. I went over six kids within four months, and that's when I realized that childcare is a big need and it is hard to find. I learned a lot real quick and had had to you know, bring in staff and I was full by I think month four and I've been on a waiting list ever since. It's a reality families are feeling across the state. In January of 2020, there were 4,534 daycare centers. In 2021, they are operating with about 50 fewer. As for family home daycares, in 2020, there were 2,407. A year later, 2,175. That's about 230 that closed their doors over the past year. The state has very high expectations. Uh, there's a lot of rules and regulations that we have to follow. They're there for a reason. I don't disagree with them, but it does add to the stresses. We work at minimum 50 to 55 hours a week, and that's just from open to close. That doesn't include the grocery shopping, the prepping, and everything else that comes along with it. So a lot of providers are exhausted. It's a twofold problem, a shortage of options for families on top of an increase in cost as the pandemic has led to a rise in prices. We told you earlier this year, reports show child care costs have increased by 61% in Michigan over the past year. And households are allocating about 16% of their income towards child care. It's costing a lot more for these facilities to get up to standards that people now want out of these facilities, whether it's just cleanliness or whether it's keeping up with government regulations or just the demands of parents who are scared and want their kids to be as safe as they possibly can. Melissa says from food to toys, high chairs, curriculum, costs add up fast. The kids wear my house out, you know, and then just paying employees too. You know, I have to make sure that I take care of my employees. I want them to love their job. I want good employees in here. So I have to pay them well, which is another added cost. So you have to compensate all of those costs into the fees of your tuition, but you don't want to overwhelm your families because they're basically paying a second mortgage every month for childcare. It's so expensive. The state are offering a variety of different ways to help child care providers stay open. Right now, um, the state of Michigan, is, it's called Think Babies Michigan. It's just launching, and it's a way to help infant and toddlers in the child care realm stay 
open. April Goodwin is the executive director of Southwest Child Care Resources. She sees firsthand the critical shortage of child care providers, especially in Kalamazoo County, and the financial stress parents are under. She says on average, for one child, families are paying about $250 a week. That averages out to about $1,000 a month. And with a pandemic, that has only made things more challenging. It's something the lieutenant governor recognizes. Some of the parents have been just stretched so thin, right, and, and having to um, be creative and figure out how to serve their kids while they're home. It's one of the reasons the Edison Early Childhood Education Career Pathway was started, a partnership between the Kalamazoo Literacy Council, Southwest Child Care Resources, and YWCA Kalamazoo to help connect people wanting to pursue a career in early childhood education. One major part is a full-time paid eight-month apprenticeship that will result in a child care development associate credential. It um, allows our providers to become teachers, um, um, child care directors, and then the apprenticeship portion onto it, just like a journeyman, gives them more hours, more experience so that they can run more high quality programs because they've got more training going on. We are trying to work at building child care providers along with getting a job, but also letting those who want to become entrepreneurs, that you could be able to start your own child care. Just like Melissa, she is a three-star rated daycare through great start to quality. And that led me into joining an apprenticeship through Child Care Resources to earn my CDA. And then I got involved with the TEACH scholarship and I'm now enrolled at Kellogg Community College earning my associate's degree. I do appreciate those child care workers because they go through a lot. There's so much going on with those kids at that age that they're constantly having to change and meet those needs. And it's just, it's comforting as a working mom to know that my girls are there and they're being taken care of like family. Which is all any parent could hope for. I have to admit, I never ever dreamt that I would be, you know, 40, almost 44 years old and going back to college. This whole experience for me has been um, very eye-opening and wonderful, um, tiring and exhausting, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So I want to break down the numbers for you a little more, because like she said, this is very eye opening. So the Michigan League for Public Policy, which you'll be speaking with live coming up here, shows that for a family making about $57,000 a year, the cost of child care in a center for one infant is about $10,800. It's a pretty much a mortgage rent payment, more than that for a lot of people. They also found that Michigan had the second lowest income eligibility threshold for childcare in the country leading into the pandemic. And if we take a closer look at what's happening here in West Michigan, in Kent and Muskegon counties, they found there is low capacity for childcare and families with low to medium incomes are really the most affected. Now, in the past, Michigan actually dedicated so few resources to childcare that millions of dollars of unspent funds were actually returned to the federal government to be redistributed to other states. It's why Governor Whitmer has actually proposed some changes in her 2022 budget proposal. Now, we have a link to that full study. We'll get that posted on our website for you so you can look for yourself. And then we're also hosting a Facebook Live at 1 o'clock this afternoon. We'll, we will hear from more experts, dive into these numbers and challenges a little more, and hopefully, you know, find out really what's being done and how families like yours can continue to get the help they need.